Hey guys, what's up? So, if you've been watching any of my previous videos, you know that I'm trying to kind of sort of restore a cabin up in Big Bear. And one of the things I want to do this weekend is I wanted to redo this staircase, but my uh, I wanted to put a new finish on the staircase, but my belt center doesn't work. So, it's plugged in right now. But when I hit the power button, nothing happens. So, um, guess I'll try to figure this out. I mean, I, I mean, see what it is. I mean, it could just be a lack of power. Not power not getting this bad cord. I have no idea. Bad motor. But yeah, this thing doesn't even move at all. It's almost like it's totally dead. Um, like there's, I don't even see the motor moving at all. So I'm gonna look to see if it's actually the power switch. See power is even getting to this motor. All right, so it looks like there's some screws. I'm gonna first take these off to see if the motor spins itself so I can spin it manually. So it looks like it's a torque screwdriver here. Let's see what's up with this thing. Like I said, I've never even taken this thing apart before, so I don't even know. That's cool, belt drive. Okay, so the motor spins. Okay, so at least we know the motor's not locked up. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so... Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to take this cover off this side. Alright, they come back and do that. So I'm going to take these screws off and that screw off. And hopefully I can separate it. And actually I'm going to unplug it first. <laughs> and then uh, I want to see if I'm actually getting power to this cable first. And then see if the switch is even operational. That's cool, at least the motor's not locked up, so that's a good time. All right, there's a little dust in there. I don't know why that doesn't seem like it'd be a good spot to have uh, a channel like that. I don't know if that's part of the dust collection system, but I will definitely unclog that. Just, uh, But this is actually what I'm mainly looking at right here, is this area. I want to see if this thing is actually even getting power. mix that thing anyways. So, Eaton, Mexico. Alright. So, I'm going to put my uh, probe here to see if I'm even getting power. Give me a second. Alright guys, so I am getting 110 volts. I have my little test lead here. So that's a good sign. I mean, at least the power core is good. So we know that's not the issue. Alright, so now I'm going to test it on the other side, over here, then I'm going to click the button and see what happens. Alright guys, I have the button held down on my thumb here, and I'm still getting 120 volts. I know the switch is working, so now it's iso i got to isolate the motor. Alright. Alright guys, so one thing that stands out to me, I'm looking at it, because now I'm looking more closely at the motor. Look at that brush right there. See it's at that weird angle? And that's the other one right there. It's like the brush got yanked over or something like that. See that? Like this thing's all going that way. All cockeyed that way. So. Yeah, so I don't know if that's part of the problem, but we'll see. Maybe I can fix it. I'm assuming maybe this thing got overheated and the plastic melted possibly. But uh, let's see. Alright guys, look at that brush assembly. Things all jacked up. I mean, it's all broken and totally out of there, so, um, yeah, I don't know if that was just, uh, there's some more light in there. I mean, it looks like it melted, so I don't know if it's even worth to fix that or not. Um, um, or just get a new brush and try to get some plastic in there, you know. Alright, cool. Alright guys, take a look. So I don't want to do that very much on my desk, but uh, I kind of got this thing realigned a little bit. I'm going to put some plastic in there and glue it in there. I don't know how long it's going to last, but like I'm going to put some um, glue some of my uh, use some of my, uh, where the hell is it at? My uh, Gorilla Glue, Gorilla, this stuff right here. I'm going to put a little piece of a zip tie in there to prevent it from creeping over again because the plastic got melted. So I will show you that. 
Alright guys, so I used a little zip tie and I glued some zip tie in there because it, it, it wants to pull this way. And that's how it melted when you saw it was going this way. So, put some of that grill glue in there. I mean this is not a great repair but the plastic got melted so there's no support behind there so I had to put some sort of support in there. So, alright, so we're back in business. So, <coughs> let this thing dry, put it back together, and that's it. So, I mean, if you watch my, follow my videos, then you'll know that I'm, I guess you'll see me using this this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be redoing my staircase. We're redoing the, the treads and painting the staircase. So, cool. Tools back in action. So, this hadn't worked for about, over like, probably a year or two. So, I think I probably did is I probably ran it too long and overheated. And it basically just, uh you know melted that so I, I don't know but I really I should probably get a new brush too but I don't have enough time in the next couple days to the weekend I could probably go to Marvac maybe Marvac might have something like this like a brush but alright cool